In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate PDF from WordPress form submissions. And I will specifically show you how to generate PDF from Contact Form 7 submissions. To do this, we need two plugins, that is the Contact Form 7 and then generate PDF using Contact Form 7. So this is the plugin we are going to use in order to generate PDF from the Contact Form 7 plugin. For some reason, you may want to provide your clients with a PDF format of whatever form you will have on your website. So we are just going to model around a request a code form and we'll be using the contact form 7 for this mission. So if this is what you want, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Duku Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. Now to generate PDF from contact form 7, we need two plugins, that is the contact form 7 itself and generate PDF using contact form 7. So let's go ahead and install these two plugins. So I go to the back end of my website, go over to plugins, click on add new. And the set plugins, I search for contact form 7. I have it right here, I go ahead and install. Once it's installing, let me go ahead and grab the generate PDF. I'll just copy the name. Go back to plugins contact form 7 is installed but i will activate it now i'll just go ahead and enter generate pdf using contact form 7. i have the plugin right here generate pdf using contact form 7 by zillow's web i install now it is installed next i go to install plugins i have the two plugins right here i just select them then i go ahead and activate all at once apply my plugins are activated successfully and i have the contact form right here if you hover on it you see that we have pdf with contact form 7 the moment you install contact form 7 already you'll be presented with a sample form and that is what you are going to use so if i go to contact forms so this is the contact form will be given now before we do anything first of all let's go ahead and configure our pdf so in here, I drop down the arrow and I'll go ahead and choose the form I want to use. In my case, I have contact form 1. I select it and the page will reload. So scrolling up, I have all these parameters to choose from. Next, we have enable PDF file operation. With this, when you set it to yes, your users will be able to download a PDF file after submitting the contact form. If you set it to no, they won't be able to download the PDF. So I leave it as yes. Next is enable PDF link with form success message. So with this, users will be provided with a link that they can click in order to download the PDF file. Next, you can also go ahead and attach your own PDF in email. So if you choose yes, you'll be given the opportunity to upload your own PDF. In that case, whatever file you'll be uploading is what the users will be given. They won't be given the opportunity to download the submission they have made. We don't want this, so I set this to no. You can choose to upload a custom header logo in your PDF. Next, you can go ahead and set all this. I'm not going to mess with them. One thing I want to touch on is PDF text font size. Currently, it is set to 9. I want to make it 12. And these are the various fields we will see on our contact form. And finally, the PDF message body. So we we'll have first name of which the name will show right here, email, which will show right here, and the rest of the parameters next is pdf file name prefix so if you leave this cf7 that is what you see as part of your pdf file so in here you can go ahead and enter whatever text you want next is pdf background image with this you can add a background image to your pdf but before you do that you need to upload the particular image to your media library then you go ahead and copy the link and paste it in here next is download file link text what text do you want your users to see if they are going to download the pdf file at the moment it is set to click here to download pdf and i think it's cool so i leave it as it is however you can enter whatever text you want finally it's footer pagination i leave them as they are and i go ahead and save the changes now everything being said let's go to the contact forms then we go ahead and copy the link to our contact form 
at the moment users of our website will not be able to see this form until we display it on our website so i'm going to go ahead and create a page and embed this short code right there so i go over to new then i click on page i'll call this request a code in here i go ahead and embed my short code so i click on the plus icon right here then i search for short code i have right here i click on it and i go ahead and paste in my short code i publish it publish so it is published now if i view it in a new tab you see that i have the form right here but users of my website will not be able to see it let's make it visible on our website so to do that i go to the back end then i hover on appearance click on menus i have request a quote right here and i'm going to go ahead and add it to our primary menu that is the menu i have right here at the moment i have three pages so i go back in here i have the page here i select it add to menu and the location is fine i go ahead and save menu now if i go to the front end and refresh you see the new menu item so let's go ahead and fill out the form and see how it will come up all right i'll fill out the form then i go ahead and submit the form is submitted thank you for your message it has been sent click here to download pdf i click on it it will open a new tab now you see the name of the file right here cf7 dash some numbers so this is the exact name right here so if you don't want to see this cf7 you can give whatever text you want under the prefix so with this it will pick the logo of my website as well as the name and these are the various fields i have on my contact form that the user has filled with perfect so the user can go ahead and download the form from here and going down in the footer section where we have our copyright information and the page number which is one so if you have more than one page your pages will be labeled accordingly so that's it on how to generate pdf from wordpress form submissions and contact form 7 to be precise i hope this video was helpful if you found value kindly hit the like button subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.